Lord, I just thank you for the Maasai people. I thank you for what you're doing in these days with them, all of them, this great tribe. We thank you, Lord, for your favor. It's going to come upon many people to begin to prosper, to begin to understand. I prophesy that there's going to be many pastors, evangelists, prophets, apostles are going to rise in this land to lead the people out from where they've been into the land of plenty. It's going to cause a great awakening in the midst of what you're wanting to do that has not happened yet for even for generations. There's going to be a, a new thing. Lord, we thank you for your favor that's coming upon your people here. I bless them with the blessings of heaven. I speak as your prophet, as your servant, that your mind is with, filled with love for your people and you're going to give them land and property and businesses and industries. I heard the word while I was inside, industries, new industries, and I thought, what, Lord, what? What industries could it be? I don't know myself, but the Lord says industries are coming out from you and new realms of education that are going to rise people to the point of greatness out from the Maasai people. I've always thought about this, that one day I'll be with the Messiahs and I'll bless them. I always thought about this, Lord, for many years, you know, we thank you, Lord, we're here today in this far place with these beautiful people. We thank you, Lord. <laughs> we thank you. Man, I feel the anointing. I just can't hardly talk. Father, thank you for your touch. Thank you for your favor. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon the people. Raise up the men that'll stand up as men of God, as business leaders, even as political uh, institutors of new things for the whole tribe of people. Thank you, Lord, that people have thought of the people as, you know, they're very tall, come over here. In a very, good, in a certain way, and I see all of that being things being rearranged and people being shot out like from a from a a, a, <clears throat> a slingshot, a catapult whew, to launch forward. And I thank you, Lord, for great churches, great business institutions, great schools. And there are going to be people that are going to catch your fire. I almost see it. It's almost like an impossible thing based on the culture and the based on the generations that have gone. But there's something new that God wants to do to bring people into the realm of success, into greatness, into great empowerment. And they're going to be different than other people. The one thing that's evil in culture is when you copy somebody else every time and you're just like them. You don't have your own unique way about you. The Lord says, I'm going to give people fire to break out from fear and intimidation, even from culture to begin to be raised up to become successful leaders. And if one steps out far, even beyond the boundaries of where everybody's been before, the Lord, the Lord is going to cause them to be protected and to go ahead to begin to lead Oh. in ways that have not been done before. Things are going to be, be they're going to become very unusual. Things are not going to be the way they've been because God's going to do a new thing. He's going to cause the people to rise. I see ways of the communities and the elders and all the peoples and the organizations and the businesses being able to collaborate with each other to break through into mainstream society and have a presence there, even at the even at the high tables of places where they didn't think they would get to. I see God shifting things and taking the man that's been in a low place and putting them into a medium place and then an upward trajectory to bring them into a high place. I see people sitting at the head tables of great high things. And this, 
I, I see that there, it's unprecedented. Like some of these things have never happened before, but God says, just in the next few short years, many months and few short years, things are gonna shift and you're gonna find yourself in industries, even international travel. You won't have to just stay on the land where you've been. God's gonna make a way for you to get to the city and not just be there, not just be there to do, you know, selling things or doing some small business, but to do something very big and very large. I see buildings being built, erected. I see, <laughs> I see new things that have never been done before in, in the Maasai lands and out from the Maasai people. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The Lord says, get ready to receive a new fresh fire from me, says the Lord. Get it ready to receive something you've never seen before. Let's all lift our hands to the Lord. The presence of God is here. The presence of the Lord is here right now. And Father, I don't care who it is you use, but you're going to use somebody. It's probably going to be the person that nobody expected. But God's going to raise many, many new generals, many new leaders. And those that can understand the word of God. It's said that many times people don't read, they don't study, they don't learn. In many parts of the world, in rural areas, outward places, there's not a lot of study of information, not a lot of access to you know, schools and universities and even online things. But the Lord says, I'm going to have you begin to get into that and begin to educate and change your mind upward into a higher level. And things are going to begin to take place in you that are going to be uh, astounding to you yourself and then even to others. The Lord says, fear not, never fear, never fear a man. Only, only fear God. Step out in the ways he's ordained you to do and break this stigma that's been upon the culture that it's just this way and that's how it is and that's how it's been and that's how it is. God says, I'm changing things and I'm going to do it very quickly. I see people rising up and I know I'll meet some of them. Myself, I'll meet some of them. They're people that are going to just rise up. They're going to rise up. They're going to be raised as leaders. The anointing of fire of the Holy Ghost is going to be upon them. I see brilliant minds being developed higher education, not from schools, but self-education. People that went online and found a way to go online and study and read and intake information and understanding and, and wisdom and knowledge and begin to execute it even from their own world. I see people creating worlds at where there were nothing, where there was nothing there. It's going to be built into literally small little great industries and literally like empires, an empire within the empire. And it seemed like an impossible thing to many. They said, how could that happen? Look at how things have been. The Lord says, no, if you can receive my touch of my fire, I can do it through you. And I'm gonna help people to understand the laws of success, that I want you to be successful. The Lord says, I want you to be successful. I don't want you to be stuck just at one level. I want to take you high, higher and very high, says the Lord. And even the next generation, the young people, they're going to grow up in a different way because the Lord's going to elevate you. He's going to illuminate your mind. He's going to give you access to information and knowledge you didn't have before. Even the next generation, through media and technology and through the Internet, you got to find ways to get into that and begin to just change your, renew your mind with the possibilities of what God has to bring you up to higher places. And the Lord says, get ready. I'm releasing my blessing upon you. God says, I love, I, I love you, the Messiah people. I always have. I look at you and I feel so much compassion for you, says the Lord. And God says, now I'm gonna change things around and you're gonna, the, 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 the last will be first the tail will become the head. Those who are beneath are going to come above. And again, I see people sitting at high tables and people would say, how did you get here? How did you arrive here? 
What made you so brilliant? You said, I studied, I got, I, 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 I'm a self-made person by the, under the hand of God. And the Lord says, get ready now. And the Lord says, this is gonna happen as a, as a movement amongst your communities. And you're gonna see my favor. Across the nation of Kenya, this is happening. Because the, the reason why things are the way they are and they stay like that is because nobody steps up to advance things and to bring the change. Why not? Why? Because it's not inside of them. But the Lord says, I want to get myself inside of you. And when I do, you can only bring change. Even the preaching in some places is going to turn into a realm of high level thought, high level revelation. And people at first, they will be like, wow. What is that? They never heard such a thing, but the Lord says it'll become more, more common, more prevalent. And you're gonna to begin to see me, begin to enlighten and illuminate your minds. Father, let it begin as a sign and a wonder right here. And let it spread all across the land. We thank you for your grace and your favor. Now this recording will be able to be put into your language. <laughs> if you want it in Swahili or you want it in your own uh, dialect, no problem, so you can understand. We can put this in print as a document. You can read it, you can write it out in your own language. And everybody can go, wow, look what the Lord said. He's advancing us as a people. Somebody lift your hands to Jehovah. Oh my God. Can you feel the presence of God? Lift your hands, lift your hands. He's here right now. Father, thank you for the touch of your wisdom and your fire. Say, Lord, give me your wisdom. Say, Lord, give me your wisdom. Oh, yeah, translate it. Okay. <laughs> translate that. <laughs> if you don't understand my English, you got to have it in your language. Beautiful. Say it. I like my interpreter here. Thank you, my brother. Say it again. Say, Lord, give me your knowledge. Give me your wisdom. Give me your understanding. Make me brilliant. <laughs> I feel the anointing so strong, I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. Talk to God right now. Let's pray. Yes, yes. Let's pray for one minute. Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless your precious people. Bless your precious people. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Beautiful people that you've made by your own hand. Thank you, Lord, for these precious people. Bless them to the point of over-the-top flows of things that they never knew that could happen in their life. And we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, raise up the business people here. Business people. You're going to have your own business. Say amen. amen. Say that. You could say that. You could translate that. Tell people they're going to have their own business enterprise. Say it. Translate, translate. Yeah. And all these babies, Lord, bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Thank you, Lord. And give people courage, Lord. Give say it, say this. Say give people courage. Boldness. Power to break through yes Lord amen let your kingdom come and your will be done stretch your hands up to God one more time thank you Lord hallelujah hallelujah amen Hallelujah. Amen. Now, what do you guys like? Do you like Swahili better or your own language? Which? Ki Swahili is okay. Okay. Ki Swahili is okay. 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 Wow. No problem. Thank you, Lord. Father, bless your people. Hey. Thank you, Lord. 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 Raise up the Maasai people, Father.
to the highest heights they've ever known in any generation. And I declare it as the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Manton IV. I'm glad to be here. Let's clap to the Lord. All right. Be blessed. Hallelujah.